Hello everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com. Philip Bloom, Vincent Laferre, a lot of the industry experts talk about in-camera sharpening kind of being the devil. And I like to test things out. So what I've done in this test, I've got, I've got an A and i got a B test. And I'm going to tell you what A is and B is at the end of this video. It's all about sharpening. Uh, one of them, I've shot the same scene twice. So what you've got is one scene... I'm going to use the in-camera sharpening at three, which is kind of like the standard picture style. And then on the same scene, I'm going to also shoot it at zero, which is what um, the experts kind of agree on is what, where to shoot. Now with these still cameras, uh, they shoot stills at a very high resolution. And what happens is when you shoot at 1080, um, the camera is throwing a lot of lines, horizontal lines out because it can't fit it all into 1080. And with 720, it throws even more of these lines out. And that can kind of lead to aliasing, kind of moray patterns, um, problems and issues like that. And one of the things to com combat against um, this effect is to lower your sharpening. And there's other things you can do, like moving the camera closer or farther, changing your f-stop, um, changing the resolution that you're shooting in, uh, you know, doing 1080 instead of 720. Um, all those things. But for this test, I basically wanted to see, could I, which one looks better, A or B? Um, so what I've done in post, I've taken the, um, the dulled image and tried to increase it and match that of the in-camera sharpening. So watch these clips and uh, at the end, I will tell you which one's which. All right, um, if you want, go back and watch it again, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. A is in-camera sharpening at three, and B is in-camera sharpening at zero with sharpening added in post. Now I did these tests with uh, Premiere Pro, CS5, and I did the sharpening filter, not the unsharpened mask, which I know I'll probably get in trouble. You guys are gonna tell me that's the correct one to use. Um, and you're probably gonna tell me a lot of other things I did wrong with this test, but. Go ahead and give me a lot of feedback. Um, also in the comments below, tell me if you got it right, got it wrong, which one you thought was better. Um, it'd be kind of interesting to see. I mean, I've looked at them myself, and I gotta say they look kind of similar. I can see some artifacts happening with one versus the other, um, but very interesting. I mean, they look very close. So let me know what you think. All right, talk to you later, bye.